have you ever used this software? No. This is like Calypso if you are in the cold water. You can write algorithms in pseudocode and you can test it without the need to um, rewrite it in a programming language. So let's say this is number six and we have x and n, two variables. They actually demand to write all the variables in uppercase but I do not encourage it. Do you know why? They demand that you write in uppercase all the variable names. Do you know about constants? What is it? What's the difference between a constant and a variable? Usually constant names are in all uppercase. So if we also write the variable name in uppercase, we cannot distinguish between two of them. So that's why I write this way. The data type is number. If you have a look uh, at uh, those words, then how many unknown words do you recognize? Do a quick count. Only on buttons and labels. They are international words like tip in English type, variable like variable, declarer like declare, okay here number, number, norm, name. So we set the name to be x. Okay, okay and cancel even they are in English. So we have now one first variable and there is a second variable as well, it is called n. Now we have two variables. Then uh, we use um, an if, a conditional formation. Or actually I didn't click this button, I did uh, press control enter. Here this it says novel line. What does it mean? Line is like line, novel is new. And uh, here is a small icon for that, even as well. And you can read Rakosi Klavier. Uh, press on the keyboard, but uh, in Estonian, Klavier is even closer to that French word, Klaviatur. Control et entrée. The next button is ajouter si alors. Si alors, it is if else. So here it says display if else. And we write for the condition if the value of n is less or equal than not. And there is an else block as well, ajouter sinon, display else. So here, I write what happens if this condition is true. So if the value of n is less or equal than not. Uh, then it um, displays a message, ajouter afficher message. And for the else block, oh, there is uh, something more complicated. Actually, it is x times, and now this is we assume that the whole uh, this algorithm from here to here, so from here to here is a function. So like this one, x n minus 1. Actually, this is not the message, but it uh, multiplies the value of x with the result of the same 
function with those parameters x and then minus 1 and now there will be questions for this algorithm the return statement uh, let's assume that a fichier is returned the return statement gives the value that the algorithm generates the first task determine how many times multiplication is performed when this algorithm is executed so this is a recursive uh, function call it checks whether n is uh, smaller or less than uh, zero if n is at least more than zero then it goes recursive until it becomes zero in x and then these are the input parameters for the function and let's test it if you have zero then it goes here true and it ends let's say it n is one what if n is like minus one if n is minus one it goes here as well because minus one is less or equal than uh, zero But if it is 1, what happens then? n is 1 by x, and uh, there is one more call for fun, and uh, next time it goes here. Only one time this multiplication happens. What if n is 2? What if n is 3? How many times in general? n times. N times determine the value of this function if the values affect I change the value of x and I change the value of n to be 3 what will be the result Just do the calculation and say the uh, answer. The function is uh, between the BU algorithm and FAN algorithm. X and X and N and N. That's the algorithm is ended. Let's try to implement it in Eclipse, in JavaScript. I create a new, or actually I didn't create a new one, I used the old one algorithms. Let's see whether this is 16. Looks like uh, this uh, function is implementing um, exponentials, the uh, power to uh, power 4 or to power 3. But how does it actually work? Uh, Put the breakpoint here and run. Now we see how it goes. It goes to the return part. First, it needs to call this function again. 
So now n is 2, and it calls it again, n is 1, and now n is not. It should return 1, which it does. Then it multiplies with 2. It does it here. 2 times 1 is 2. Next time it multiplies 2 by 2. And it gets 4. And then it multiplies 4 by 2. And it gets the result as 8. Now we understand the function. Can we also implement this function with a loop? Take away the breakpoint. Maybe this way. Well, now it's gone. Binary 3. Ellipses, okay. Shoots for me as well. This is B. And then there it is C. And then there is D. This goes from A to B, from B to D, and from A to C. Identify all leaf nodes in this binary tree. So D and C are leaves. Because nothing from C out. C has no children and D has no children. For this binary tree, state the result of in order tree traversal. So the first step, if root is empty, stop. So that means if there are no uh, elements at all, then it will not traverse. Next step, execute in order on the binary tree rooted at the left child of the root. What is the post order traversal? Execute post order on the binary tree rooted at the left child of the root. Then on the binary tree rooted at the right child of the root. I draw another tree here so that I can clarify everything. This is one, this is two, this is four, this is three, this is five, this is six, and this is seven. So three is here, So this stream, post order is 4, 2, 6, 7, 5, 3, 1. And then there is pre order as well. 1, 2, 4, 3, 5, 6, 7. A bookshop has a computer at each point of sale and also a central computer. So there are many computers on the central computer. When a customer buys a book in the bookshop, 
The salesperson at the point of sale uses a scanning device to input a barcode from the book. The barcode is sent to the central computer where the barcode of each book and the corresponding price are held in a database on a disk. So the ID of the book and the price. When the price is found, it is sent to the print of sale computer where all necessary calculations are performed. Details on the transaction are stored on the local disk and the receipt is printed out. The first task, construct a system flow chart for the system described above. 